Hello there. It seems like Mid Journey currently was very busy and have quite a bit of updates out for us to test. So let's go look closer on them. First, we'll start with some smaller updates, even they're kind of big on the back end. So we'll say now images in version 6 also have it upscales, have it the zoom out options as well add the panning left and right the same what we have it in version 5 now they're available in version 6 as well as well version 6 and of course this is now fully supported with ninji data set it is more orientated on the asian anime style of the renders in a database and you can see it's actually work very well with some exceptions if we have a panning and zoom available in normal data set niji on version 6 still not yet have this ability to pan and scan you need to go back to version 5 if you want to do that so this is kind of normal usual i will say evolutional updates so it's fixed from other versions add this functionality but right now let's go look on some new stuff new and exciting and we have a two of those i think two right here two of those very excited one of them it is referencializations so it's meaning we can take specific image from other ones and reference what i was saying by this let's go try it so we're going ahead and let's type imagine and we'll just post the portraits of the young lady on a barrel so what we can do is type dash dash as ref and reference external image with the what's in style we want this to do. Midjourney will take one image, two or three. It can upload it more than just image for the stylizations and apply this style of analyze, analysis from that image to our work. So what, for example, I'm going to do right here, I type as ref and for me, I'm going to just use it one of my image. So this is photos I'm taking. I'm going to just copy, copy image address. By the way, if somebody interested, you're more than welcome to copy stylizations of my images. Usually this way, I don't like if you take my images and use them without permission. That is correct. However, if you need to use them for uh, stylizations in mid journey, more than welcome. I'm okay with that. Okay, so we copy here. Now let's go to our disjoint and we'll just copy in paste path. Same things, you can actually paste more than one image. You can paste multiple. And what's most important, you can put like column, column, and then you can specify how much weight or how important it can be of specific stylization. For example, let's just try as ref this reference to image and we'll put stylization of the two. Let's go ahead. And by the way, if you have it, this error says the must URL, not the text. It's the reason I put it space between column. You know, sometimes you can, sometimes not. So if we do this way, you have an address and just don't put it space or my mistake. You just put column, column and after wait. And you can see right here it is accessing and creating them and you can access even your internal images so whatever you render in specific style and if you like it here's example one a reference external other ones and there we have it our stylization if we go back to my image for example right here it's you can see it was done in compositing it's sitting with a barrel let's go back and that is actually going closer and nice stylization I think it's did a very good job. So let me go ahead and upscale so we can look a little bit closer. And I think this is did a very good job on this. So let's do a little bit more complex with this. Let's go just to select a different style as well. So right here, we'll just do same things. Only now I want to add another reference, which will be in different total style. So I'm going with my cyberpunk stylizations as well. For this, let's go back and we have it our path. 
And reasons why we cannot have it space because space it will reference to another image. So in this case, we need to have it like different them. Okay, I think this we have it. Let me go to remove this uh, resizing some information. And you know what? We'll go try this one time. Next, what I want to do is copy this line right here. We'll copy all of this information. Let's go imagine again right here. And we're going to paste so we have the same only for our the cyberpunk let's increase weight on that okay so on our first image and right here there's our first image we set weight one and on our image we'll set weight five we also can have it sterilization weight by have dash dash sw which is applied general to the style weight but we'll experiment with this later and while this processing let's look on this notice what's happening here we have a nice interesting actual merge of two styles now we have a post-apocalypse cyberpunk kind of looking which is i think come up with very interesting okay let's go ahead and just upscale a couple of them and if we look right here you can see we have a definitely heavier more effect of the cyberpunk of this coloring neon lights so this way is nice you can have a different style and apply them on your image but as i said before you can actually apply multi-layer stylization on specific portraits i do have a video before i recommend for you to go watch when i take portraits and work inside the mid journey to create the other things we can also upload our image and apply stylization on this this is uh, it need more experimental but i think it will help me to save time on some processing my photos because i don't need to apply the same style i can take my photo take my other stylizations pre-train and apply them so you kind of as artists you can work more around your own stylizations so for this let's go click and select upload file and I'm just uploading some of the styles. So right here, we have it. Next, I'm going to open, right click, copy image address. It's our first. So we're going to imagine, paste our image that we have it, space. Next, we want to describe what we want to do. Um, in some cases, we can actually use this, but I will just go ahead and type all the in Barocco style so just a simple explanations next what we want to do we're going to s ref again we're going s reference and we're going to reference this second image which is was our cyberpunk okay right here next Let's go ahead and add a little bit of the weight of the stylizations on this image. And we can do this by adding tag dash dash s w and value can be anywhere from 100 to 1000. So I'm just going to put it 900 quite a bit weight on this image. And I think it's also portions. So we'll go to aspect ratio. Let's go two by three because it's kind of a little bit long. If we look right here, you can see this is a little bit long. So it's about two by three. We'll have it and press enter. And I want to do another experiment here. So we'll have it this pasted only on this case. We also put it image weight and we'll put it maximum image weight two. So in this case, we can compare two of them. We can compare one with a normal image weight one and image weight two and how this stylization will apply it okay here our render is completed and we look on it first with a normal image weight and you can see we have it barocco kind of similarity with the definitely effect of cyberpunk colors this is very interesting mix of the coloring i think so let me upscale a couple of them and here next with the image weight much harder and you can see we also have it the gun inside the hand and just in case if you don't remember this is our original it's this kind of 
Hashmash was playing around with a Rococo, Baroque style and a Star Wars theme. So it's kind of like, you know, Royal Star Wars was playing around with this. So she had the blaster and she had the helmet. Okay, and if we look right there, you can see it does apply a little bit to that point. Let's preview. And we can see this definitely coloring was applied from cyberpunk. So very interesting. You can see how you can mix those coloring. And I think this is give you quite a bit uh, more control actually over what stylizations in a way you want to go. Okay, that is a nice option. But another announcement also was made for the people who have at 5000 generate images or more. And I have a little bit more than that. Uh, we have access to new test side for the mid journey and I want to show you just a fast preview what coming and I think this is actually a change a lot for the mid journey one of the biggest complaint number one complaint from I heard it is work inside a discord and it is a lot of people don't like this it's a limited how you can operate it's a limited lot of possibilities for them so what mid journey right now introduced for the test not your usual interface what you have here they introduce the new one so notice right here on the top you have an image coming soon so you can work inside the uh, web interface and a new alpha you actually can do and notice right here it says alpha alpha it's meaning it's a prerequisite it's probably will change thousands times before it's released but it's here we can kind of snap preview what's going on so let me go ahead update a couple of things so i'm just reload, reloading and you can see it's rereading the images that i was created so we can preview some browse and everything it's a similar you just need to go inside the archives and you have it a very nice beautiful navigation so you can go preview all images that you've done search for them organize and do other stuff the create tab this is actually what make it different so you don't need to go in a discord you will go able to go in here and again this is remember this is alpha which will change but i want to say that is will change quite a bit for the users who use it so instead we can go and copy well we can put here so let me go ahead and type um i'm just going copy line so we'll go in imagine it's all you don't need to type imagine or anything baroque you spell properly and uh, to change any settings we need to go inside the bar and you can see it's extend i do like now you have it all of these different preview you can still type in if you need it to type a specific format but you can change you also have a stylization directly apply here weirdness variety all options mod standard or other thing versions which kind of very cool you can select different versions from here almost anything that you can do it beside all of this all your tags still working for example you can still if you prefer type inside spec ratio or any other ones or a reference to specific images you can also if you notice on a plus you can go ahead and download it images right here we have it already images that i used it before and you can just drag and drop them i mean this is very nice interface okay we're going to render speed all the stuff and when we're done just press enter and you can see it start rendering and here we have it our render images if we click on one image you'll notice on the right side we have it very similar to what we can do in other areas we can change variety, upscale, remix, pan, zoom, all the options that we currently have, which is same things what you do in Discord, but they have it much more flexibility inside here. As well, in painting tool work much better. For example, if we click on a variety region, we can go and select different areas. For example, right there, this, and we can just type, um, golden star okay just to fix or replace K 
second let's go close it and you notice it is submission done we can go back and this is will re-render that image there because it is in alpha mode if you're going back to your discord you notice right here it does not update so those images that i created is for some reason not yet showing me in my discord however whatever i create in here they will show um whatever i create in discord they will show everything here but whatever i create from the alpha it does not show in discord so I've, if it makes sense but they will show for you in your normal preview so again this is alpha it could change so many times but you already see how even in this version it's work very stable very nice i do like the interface and everything i hope they will keep it because it's definitely worth and right here we change our in painting you can see small elements was replaced so definitely it's working okay i think this kind of interesting updates coming from the mid journey i think this one is the biggest update will um, i won't say game changer but it will change for many users make much easy to use does not tight up necessarily to the discord interface make much cleaner and easy working well i'm glad to see this and i hope you also enjoy view these updates let me know which update you like the most please post your comment if you discover something new let me know thank you for supporting this channel have a great day